Hey, Jared. Uh, hey, Jared. This is uh, Glenn West with LSU Country. Um, <clears throat> just, I guess, talk about your journey here. I mean, you, you obviously you know, kind of broke out here on the spring earlier this year after you know, having to kind of wait your turn. I mean, just now that you kind of had this opportunity, how much are you seizing it? And just, uh, I guess, talk about, you know, the, the progress you've made over the last year or so. Um, yeah, so since I've came here, I've been around a great group of linebackers. I mean, from Devin White, Donnie Alexander, uh, Jacob Phillips, um, Patrick Queen. Um, so learning from those guys, and Coach O always drills into us the LSU standard of performance. So, you know, I, this is my, my fifth year. So being around that, you know, I, um, I knew what it took. So after all those years gathering um, all those abilities and whatnot, um, I just took them and put them into play. Hey, Jared, Brady Miller with The Athletic. But I mean, yeah, was there something that kind of clicked or something about your game that you think you really figured out to kind of get where you're at now? Um, I wouldn't necessarily say click. Um, the new coaching staff, you know, they were real, um, they were real open to giving everyone an opportunity. And, uh, you know, like, like the Moan said, they, uh, um, you're able to sit down with them and talk to them and, and you're able to learn. So, you know, that's a big help, being able to uh, have that connection with your coach. And, and, and that was key for me. And uh, I think that bond was created in the spring, and that uh, was able to help me branch out. Hey, Jared. Jared Joseph with uh, Fox 44 in Baton Rouge. Good first name, by the way. Uh, Appreciate question, it. question, is there uh, um, so I'm talking about how the communication is better and, and different with the new coaching staff. How have Durante Jones and specifically Blake Baker improved compared to what you experienced the previous years? Oh, uh, man, they make you feel like you're at home. Um, whenever you have a coach that, you know, feels more like a friend, but you know that it's your coach, you know, you're able, you're able to get the best out yourself and everyone around you. And, you know, it starts with yourself. And once you can, you can build on yourself, then you can be a great teammate, you can be a great player, you can be a great person. And you know, you feel that energy throughout the building and it's, it's, it's a real positive vibe throughout the building. You, you did a good job of just uh, answering the question I was gonna ask. This is uh, Michael Cowboy from Channel 2. Mm -hmm. So I'll, I'll mix it up a little bit, I guess. How do you have, how do you make sure that you have the staying power to not just be a spring game champion, you know, or carry that over and contribute, even if it is gonna be like in a team's capacity or a starter's role, how do you ensure that you, know, you complete your mark? Um, so like I mentioned before, Coach O drills that LSU standard of performance in us. And I mean, you know, like I said, this is my fifth year. So being around uh, for that long, you know, you pick up on a bunch of different key uh, aspects that what you need to do to thrive at LSU. You know, it's one of the best institutions in the, company, in the uh, country. So, you know, I took all that and just got to stay on top of it and get better each and every day. Hey, Jared, Will Alexander from The Advocate. Just to rehash a little bit some of your journey here, were you originally coming here as a walk-on? I did. I did. Are you on scholarship now? I am. I am. What was that moment like for you, and when did it happen that you, you know, got that scholarship? And why maybe did you come to LSU without the guarantee of maybe early playing time as opposed to possibly going somewhere smaller to get that? Um. So I was actually put on scholarship um, at the end of fall camp last year, uh, it was it was great, you know. Uh, I, I'm from Baton Rouge, so growing up in Baton Rouge, I mean, it's every kid's dream to, to run out and play in Tiger Stadium. So, you know, with that being the end goal in mind, you know, I just stay with it. And uh, could you repeat the end of your question for me, please? Uh, I think that was the end of my question. I was oh. asking maybe why you stuck it with LC in the first place instead of Okay, yeah, yeah. So like I like I said, it's every kid's dream, you know, to play in Tiger Stadium, man. And and it's always been a dream of mine. So, you know. Uh hey, Cherry Dixon with twenty four seven. Um, like you said, you got a scholarship now, you play in Tiger Stadium now. Did you put goals off there there as a fifth year guy in yeah, you know, you've had a big spring and this coaching staff uh, is giving you opportunities. Oh, man, just, just to get the team better, you know. Football is a team game. I can't do anything by myself. So, you know, for me to go anywhere, the team's going to have to go. So, getting, you know, just making sure each and every one of these guys are ready come game one in L.A. Hey, Jared, Will Alexander with Fox 
Hey, Jared, uh, this is William with Tiger Rag Magazine. I wanted to ask you, you know, you hear the life of, of a walk on how difficult it is. You know, it's not a lot of glamour at the beginning. Uh, any tough moments that you, you can recall that you, know, you, you had to kind of, you know, get through to get to this point and now you're reaping the benefits of, of being patient? Oh, I mean, the journey itself. But I mean, you just you just got to know that there's an end goal in mind, and you just got to keep working on it. You know, each and every day. Hey, Jerry Paul Boron from CST. Uh, I wanted to ask you about Jay Ward. Uh, you know, we, we, you were just asked about your great spring. Obviously, he uh, made the move and made an impact in the spring. Just talk about his transition, what you've seen from him moving to safety. Uh, physical player. He's a dog. He's a great guy. Um, I think it was a great move. He's smart. He's uh, instinctual. Uh, he flies around and he hits. And I mean, that's everything you want out of the safety and, and a guy behind you. So whenever you know your back and behind is protected in the secondary, you can fly around and play free yourself. So 